Well, how do there, chums? I've got something a little bit different for you today, people. So this bit of footage comes from Redacted. I'll put a link inside of the video description to the full video. I'll also put a link in the top right-hand corner to the full video. Go and watch that. But it's said to be a real interrogation of an alien life form by the Department of Naval Intelligence, nonetheless. That's why it says DNI down at the bottom. And here we go. Let's hit on up the footage. Injury back in my wrestling days. And it just, I, I'm not saying I was visited, I heard voices, but it's just something my conscience said, you know, you got some time now. Now the person that actually put this footage up, I believe has been some sort of senator or something like that, and a wrestler. Reminds me a bit of Jesse Ventura. Well, what is it with wrestlers going into politics? I um, don't know. So I would say, chums, that this is very reminiscent of some other footage that surfaced many years ago of an alien interview with a being called E.B. or E.V. I'll find the actual video footage and I'll put that as an overlay and you'll see that they're fairly similar. And this one, the E.V. one or E.B. one, but actually proven to be fake. So, you know, this one itself doesn't even look as convincing as the fake one, in my opinion. Could it be though that they made the fake one to cover up this real one? Now I have enhanced the video footage a little bit later on, I've made it a little bit sharper, I've increased the brightness and the contrast so you can see a little bit more, but the, the video is very, very sketchy. I mean if you're going to be doing an interrogation of some sort of alien life form, surely you're going to have better lighting, better cameras, and you're going to turn on the freaking audio, aren't you? No audio in this sadly people. So here we go, I've increased the actual brightness, added in a little bit more of a colour balance because as I shine the torch over them, you do see the actual body of the alien in a roundabout way. You can also see other silhouettes of other people in the room and there seems to be some sort of heart monitor or something but it seems to be running vertically. I've sort of zoomed in here and made it a little bit clearer because it does appear that the mouth opens and closes, but it's somewhat robotic. It looks like a puppet to me, people. It really does. I have to say what I see, and that's what I see. So anyway, people, my opinion on this is it's a little bit weird. It's a bit weird. Now, I usually go to Redacted for quite a lot of news, because I quite trust Redacted as a news outlet, but they've done some very odd news articles as of late that's made me question, can I actually trust things that are said on the side of Redacted? They've come across some very odd individuals with some very sketchy at best evidence. It's, a, it's again a little bit x filesy at the moment, people. It really is. United States Congress, which by the way, they're about to hold a hearing on this next week. And I think that this is, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be a big piece of this. Okay there, chums. Well, if you watch the full interview over on Redacted, you'll see that Clayton is totally into this hook, line and sinker, I guess. But then again, is it real? Or is it fake? For me, people, I think I've made my thoughts quite clear on this. I feel that it is fake. I mean, it's not every day you catch, capture an alien or interview one. And for that matter of fact, you would think they'd be in a different sort of location with a lot more lighting, better audio, better quality all round. But then again, this was secretly filmed and smuggled out. And the technology back then, camera-wise, wasn't all that great. So anyway, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think, people inside of the view of us. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I'm hoping to do a little bit more on the oddness that I find on the Tinterwebs. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.